Hello everyone. So in this lecture, I am going to discuss about singularities. The point z equal to a at which the function f of z is not analytic is called a singular point, which means analytic means continuous. Continuous means what? Uh, limit extends to limit z tends to a f of z equal to some finite value. When you are replacing z equal to a in f of z, we will get infinite value means that particular point is a singular point. Let us take the example f of z equal to 1 by z minus 2. When I am replacing z equal to 2, I will get 1 by 0 which is infinite. So therefore, z equal to 2 is a singular point because uh, while I am replacing z equal to 2, I will get infinite value. That's why. Next, uh, types of singularities. Uh, we may have uh, totally four types are there. Isolated singularity, removable singularity, essential singularity and poles. First one, isolated singularities. The point z equal to a is said to be isolated singularity. If the neighborhood of z equal to a contains no other singularities, which means one function containing only one singular point means that is called an isolated singularity f of z equal to 1 by z minus 3. When I am replacing z equal to 3, I will get infinite value. So, therefore, z equal to 3 is an isolated singularity. So, other than 3, whatever you are substituting in place of z, definitely you will get some finite value. So, therefore, alone z equal to 3 is a singular point for this particular function. Next one is removable singularity. A point z equal to a is called a removable singularity of f of z if limit z tends to a f of z equal to a is finite which means uh, direct away uh, I am substituting z equal to 0 means in this particular function f of z tan z by z I will get uh, some indeterminate form or infinite form. So, after doing some process, we will get finite value means that particular point, the same point is called a removable singularity. Uh, so, look at this. Uh, so, while I am replacing z equal to 0 in tan z by z, I will get 0 by 0 which is in infinite. After applying L hospital rule, it becomes tan z by z equal to L hospital rule means a differentiate numerator and denominator separately with respect to the corresponding variable z. So, tan z differentiation value secant square z. z differentiation value is 1. So, secant square z by 1. Secant square 0. After that, I am replacing z equal to 0 in this particular function. I will get secant square 0. Secant square means 1 by cos square. Cos, cos 0 value is 1. 1 by 1 is 1. So, therefore, after doing some process, I will get final value. So, this particular point is a removable singular point. So, next category is pole. This is very important. The singularity z equal to a of f of z is called a pole if there exists a positive integer n such that the formula is limit z tends to a, z minus a whole power n, f of z not equal to 0. We must have some non-zero value. Suppose n is equal to 1 means it is called a simple pole. More than 1 means it is called a um, double pole or triple pole like that etc. So, let us take an example f of z equal to uh, 1 by z minus 1 into z plus 2 the whole square. Here the singular points are, uh, what is mean by singular point? When I am replacing any other value for z, I will get uh, infinite value means that particular point is a singular point. While I am replacing z equal to 1 in the denominator, I will get 1 by 0 because 1 minus 1 is 0. So, we will get infinity as well as in the second term while I am replacing minus 2 also the total denominator becomes 0. Therefore, the singular points are 1 comma minus 2. Next, first I am going to consider the first point. Limit uh, substitute this particular point in the above pole formula. So, limit z tends to 1, z minus 1, f of z because z minus 1 whole part is 1 z minus 1 whole power is 1. So, therefore, n is equal to 1 and a point is 1. 
okay so after replacing that into the general formula i will get limit z tends to 1 f of z play, f of z is 1 by z minus 1 into z plus 2 the whole square substitute that here uh, z minus 1 z minus 1 getting cancel we will get only 1 by z plus 2 the whole square while i am replacing z equal to 1 in the place of z i will get uh, 1 by 3 square that become 1 by 9 so which is obviously non zero value This is pole. Is it equal to one? Is a simple pole because is it minus one part is one. So we call it as simple pole. Next, I'm going to consider the second singular point. Is it equal to minus two? Here n is equal to. Uh, is it is it plus two whole power d is two. So therefore, n value is two. Uh, substituting this into the general formula, is it minus a whole power n into f of is it? I will get is it plus two. Here uh, the two is missing actually. Is it plus two the whole square into f of z? Limit is it tends to minus two. Is it plus two the whole square into f of z value one by z minus one into z plus two the whole square? Is it plus two the whole square? Is it plus two the whole square getting cancelled? The remaining I am having one by z minus one. While I am replacing z equal to minus two, I will get minus one by three. This is also a non-zero value. So therefore, this is pole. Therefore, z equal to minus two is a pole. Of order is what? Where we where I am getting this minus two from this term? Is it plus two the whole square? The order is two. So therefore, is it equal to minus two? Is the pole of order two? This is double fold. So let us move on to the next category: essential singularity. So in this particular type, a singular point is it equal to A is said to be an essential singular point of f of z if The Lorentz series of f of z about z equal to a possesses of infinite number of terms in the principal part. Simply, so in the removable singularity, after doing some process, we will get some finite value. No, we remove that singular point. So that is called removable singularity. So in this particular type, we cannot we cannot remove that singular point at any cost. Whatever you are doing here. Uh, consider the f of x, f of z. That is e power one by z minus one. So while I'm replacing z equal to one, we will get one e power one by zero. That is e power infinity. So which is not defined value, which means uh, in in uh, infinite value. So we cannot do any other differentiation or something uh, multiplication or division or whatever you are doing. We cannot able to eliminate this singular point z equal to one. So therefore, this is called a yeah, essential singularity. So these are all the types of singularities. Singular singular point means after substituting one particular point in f of z, we will get an infinite value. So this is an idea. Thank you, guys.